We are here looking at the 1967 Mercedes Benz 600 limousine. An absolutely fabulous car. A car that was $22,000 when it was new, which is was very expensive at the time. You could have bought four Cadillacs at least for that kind of money. And uh, it was intended for diplomats and heads of state and people who could afford an exceptionally luxurious and expensive car. And this car has been in California its entire life. Sold new in San Diego with the original sales contract and only two owners. Uh, the second owner purchased it in the late 1980s and has owned it, driven it, and had it professionally maintained ever since. So it's uh, an excellent car. Let's take one more, one more trip around the car. The home is beautiful. And it is dark blue, it's very dark blue. It's not black, it is dark blue. I don't know if that comes through in the video, but it's dark blue. Michelin tires. Boy, is that pretty. Let's take a look through the windshield at the wood dash. It's in really nice shape. It's all the original wood, too. And we'll get in and start it and take it. First, we will survey the beautiful dashboard. There's the tachometer and the transmission indicator, gauges, speedometer, and that is a temperature gauge. That's those are the air conditioning controls surrounding the uh, temperature gauge. That switch on the right is the cow vent switch. The clock, I think, you can hear working, the clock. Radio is aftermarket, but it does also include the original Becker radio. And the interior is almost 100% original. The driver's seat has been redone. The interior is really in excellent condition and it is original to the car. So that's a a tribute to how well this car was taken care of. And here are the power window switches. And they work great. Up and down silently. That was the that was the attraction of the hydraulic uh, convenience power system. That was there we go, that's that one. Just zip right up and down. That is really something. And we're gonna fire the car up. Excellent oil pressure, gas gauge works, and the temperature is right where it's supposed to be. Tachometer works, and uh, a horn. There's the horn, and let's see. Suspension on this car is a marvel. Going over bumps is. I, I've never driven a car that dampens the bumps and rides nicer than this car. It is astonishing. Just astonishing.
There's a three-pointed star leading the way. That hood ornament, by the way, is bigger than the standard Mercedes hood ornament to be proportional with the rest of the car, which is bigger than the standard Mercedes. That's a, an interesting fact. That's nice. It is a lovely car to drive. Take a look at the interior and the details of the Mercedes-Benz and play with some more of the toys on the car. Interior is original except for the driver's seat which was redone correctly in matching leather. Correct MB tax in the inset. <clears throat> Very nice dashboard. Great looking car. Here we are in the back. Headrest for the back passengers. It's all original back there, original leather. Really spectacular. And drapes for privacy. So let's. Uh, Start it up, and we'll do, you can see the dash lights coming on, we'll go out there and look at the headlights. Take a look at the interior and details of this car. The leather in the car is all original except for the driver's seat which was redone properly and it's hard to tell the difference. Correct colors and MB Tex fabric. 
weather. And excellent dashboard. And uh, seat, original seats. That back area is really great. Door panels are nice. A little bit of a little bit of wear showing there in the driver armrest, but to be expected. And there's the And here we are looking at the engine, the 6.3 liter V8 engine. Fuel injected. And overhead cam, dual overhead cam. One for each bank of cylinders. And uh, air conditioning, it's been updated to one R134 recently in uh, May of 16, and it is cold. I did drive it, and it is cold. And uh, car is painted in dark blue or dunkel blau. And that was done in 1989, according to the file. And it was done very nicely. There are a few areas where I think it could be improved. There's a little bit of checking on the hood. Same on the roof. And right there in the corners. But it is, it's hard to see it in the video, in the pictures. Um, so the paint job is good, but not perfect. Very clean trunk. Hey, let's put that trunk down. Let's do this. Let's, uh, this button, you push it forward and the trunk closes. That's one of the hydraulic features of the car. And let's go take a look at the rear seat, which is, you can see it moving there. Back and forth. That's pretty cool. I think we already did the windows. The hydraulic system is really great. It uh, moves things quickly and quietly. Oh yeah, we got front, front power. Power seat. Moving back and forth. And there it is, reclining and adjusting. <laughs> by that knob. So that is uh, very impressive indeed. And factory air conditioning, there's the vents down there, there's the control, big round knob to the left. And oh, there's that clock. Nice headliner. Original. It's the the real charm of this car is that it is very original and it's been properly cared for all this time. Only two owners and uh, beautiful throughout.